So the price activity in October was really varied depending on the segment of the market. If properties were selling, let's say in the higher price ranges, we found that there might be some downward pressure on pricing simply because there's more supply. And of course, under the 500,000 detached market, there's still a little bit more balanced conditions because of a little less supply in, the, in, in that market. So if I was a buyer in this market right now, thinking about what my needs or wants are, it, it might determine, uh, be determined by if you're uh, an investor or if you're looking to purchase simply because you are making a lifestyle choice. If I was a seller in this market, I'd be talking to my real estate professional about where to best price my property, depending on, of course, on how much supply there is and how much competition I have in my in my particular area and the type of property that I'm trying to sell. Continued weakness in the economic climate resulted in weaker sales activity this month. This is starting to reflect um, more predominantly in our housing market numbers. So we've seen that sales activity continue to remain weak um, due to the lower demand levels. However, what we did see is that pullback in sales was far stronger than the pullback in new listings. So what it did is it caused inventory levels to essentially remain unchanged at a time when we typically start to see inventory levels ease. Now what this is doing is it's causing those months of inventory figure to actually remain elevated and increase. So with months of supply approaching that four months um, figure, this is causing some downward pressure on pricing. However, each segment of the market is behaving very differently. We've seen steeper price declines occurring in the apartment sector relative to what's happening in both the detached and the attached market. Now, in the detached sector, we've seen in the lower price ranges, so under 500,000, the months of supply remain relatively balanced um, at two months of supply. Whereas if you hit the higher price ranges, we're seeing much more inventory related to the amount of demand in the market. And that's likely to impact what is happening as far as price adjustments are concerned in that higher segment. Overall, we do expect to continue to see some weakness in the economy um, and this will impact our housing market moving forward. So one of the conversations that uh, us as real estate professionals are having right now with our sellers is really understanding the market that you, you may currently be in. How many properties are there available in my particular segment of the market? Uh, you may want to be thinking not just in terms of what happened last year in the market, but maybe in terms of days and, and weeks uh, of what's happening in the marketplace and think about pricing your property based on, on what's happening right now.